Hi guys, this is the process of making homemade ghee. This is from pure A2 milk. Actually, I missed out the first starting stage or the starting process how we started. Maybe in the next video, I can show you guys this. If you see, this is all the uh, the cream which we have collected, and uh, you know we start uh, putting it slowly, and then in the utensil which is hot like boiling. Usually we put ice or cold water in it so that all the cream starts floating on top, and when you put it in the utensil and the gas, and then you slowly see it, as it gets hot, you see all the ghee coming up. You see, this is all the fresh cream. This is of days of days of saving from cream. This is. You just keep putting, putting, and putting it in. As it uh, cooks, it boils. You find it, all the ghee like floating. You see the car, which is on top. You see, which is just bubbling. It's all the cream, which is boiling. You see the cream over there. Yeah. Trust me, it's very delicious, huh? <laughs> Smells good. Awesome, this is. This how it looks. See, it's all this cooking. It takes time, but trust me, it's worth it. As it takes time, you know, you just add more uh, cream on, into it. It keeps cooking, and then you can take all the the ghee I mean no because it keeps cooking cooking so once it cooks down it keeps all the ghee gets on top it starts floating as you can see in the video just it smells aroma is just awesome there's no word to explain just awesome This is just, I'm going to show a close up looks. Just see how the gear is just bubbling. It's just, uh -huh, it's just cooking. We just added some more cream to it. So it's cooking, cooking, cooking. I put, uh, we're just adding cold water to it. Cold, ice cold water. So what happens as the water gets, uh, the water is cold, so all the cream comes on top because of the chillness. It's easy to just pick up and just drop it in. That's what we're doing. The process is very simple. It just takes some time, but trust me, it's worth it. It's worth rather than buying from shop or anywhere. It's very tasty. The process is a bit long, but trust me, the ghee which comes out from this, it's very tasty. It's yummy. The aroma, the smell is lovely. No words to explain. See, as after we added uh, cold water, the size, see all the cream floating on top. It's easy to collect, pick up. This is all the cream that you pick up. You just collect the cream and you can just drop it in the niche pencil that which is cooking right now. You as you drop, you know, like you drop it in your pencil, it keeps cooking, cooking, cooking. It takes time, you no, know? as you find the after maybe 20 25 minutes you find the ghee floating on top just lower the heat you can pick up the this transfer the floating ghee to another utensil
it's just the same process. See, right now I'm just adding cold water. So just to see, uh, like I don't want to waste any cream. Just keep adding cold water, cold water or ice cubes. You can just pick up all the cream that is floating on top and then transfer it to the boiling utensil. As you see, as you see, it's cooking now, it's cooking well and you see everything is like floating on top. That's the ghee which is floating on top. You see, it's like kind of dark yellow. So that is pure ghee. And the smell is just awesome, trust me. Plain dal rice with a papadam will be fantastic. Or with a pepper, water, rasam, with any vegetarian or non-veg, no problem. It's just going to be too good. Too good means too good, trust me. This is just awesome. <sighs> Smells very good. Ah, lovely. I wish everyone could just try this at home and just experience what I am experiencing right now. Smell is too good. Trust me. So right now we're just cooking it, cooking it, just taking its own time to cook. We're just letting it cook. It needs time to cook, so let it cook. Letting it cook. So after some time we're going to just collect all this, you know, take all this, separate all the ghee from it. You see on top it's all the ghee that is floating dark yellow this is just pure 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 ghee a to ghee and just perfect the, you, you just need to keep no stirring it so that it doesn't uh, stick or get burnt in the in the utensil let's take your time it takes lots of time but it's worth it Trust me, it's worth it. You'd rather buy a uh, ghee from shop or anywhere else. This ghee, what you make at home, it's worth. Not 100, but 200% just worth. And the smell, the taste, it's organic. 200% organic.
So right now it's cooking. You can see all the ghee floating. This is all the cream which is left over from the ghee. This is cream. as it burns or it fries off. The same stuff I can use it as a thing to eat. I just add some sugar and, and I can eat it up as palgova. You see, this is the ghee which is floating on top. This is just as I said, this cream. As the weight sets down, the ghee floats on top. So this is as you see, this is all the cream from what I put. And from that, all the ghee is floating on top. So this let the time go, let time go, let it cook, cook well. The more it cooks, the more it's good. You find more ghee coming on top. So the bottom all sets down. The process, this is how it is. Process works like this. So let it cook, you see the ghee floating on top, so you, you can see the color difference. So we boil milk every day for our kids. So we collect the cream from this milk. We use this cream to make, so this ghee is used for us to heat. You can just see and they start taking away all the ghee from the thing which is boiling the utensil see this is pure ghee it's just cooking cooking over cooking no problem but the ghee smells lovely you everyone should try this brothers and sisters everybody should try this this is just awesome you won't believe me the smell is just awesome <sighs> yeah. i just wish i had some dal rice with papad and uh, so, something nice to eat with along with this some rice with green leaf Whew, lovely with nice banana leaf this put some rice this ghee will this taste superb no words to express This is how we collect the uh, ghee, you can see how is it here. Yeah? So now I'm going to sh show you how I collect the cream. And so this is how I collect the cream. And I collect the cream from the milk uh, utensil which I boil for my kids every day. This is the cream as you see right now. This is the cream what I collected right now. So we collect all this cream and keep it every day. It is, sometimes it will take a week or 10 days we collect and keep. Then we boil, we keep it in the fridge. It's very important to keep it in the fridge. We collect all together, we keep it in the fridge and then we boil all together and we take out the uh, ghee. From this we can make uh, paneer or palgova. Oh, I have no words to explain but the taste is just awesome. That's all I could say. The taste is just awesome.
As you see, this is the end stage. It's just ending. We won't take it. So now it's cooking, cooking, and it's come to the last stage. So I, I don't want to waste the ghee. I will just remove at the max whatever I can remove. I will just remove everything from that. And whatever is left over, all this fried thing which is burned, we'll just throw away. But we'll just remove all the ghee which is there. You, you won't believe me. The smell, the aroma is just so perfect, so lovely in that. Smell is just awesome. This is just pure A to G. 200%, not 100%, just 200%. This is perfect A to G, which is awesome. The smell is just, aroma is just outstanding. I, w I would just love everyone to smell or taste this. This is just lovely. And this toppling to another, uh, to a jar, like to a bottle, to uh, G. By tomorrow morning, <coughs> Oh, after a few hours, it'll take its time to cool down and then it'll settle down. Let's have a look. And this pouring up. Actually, these bottles were used previously as a ghee bottle. So we're using the same bottle for a ghee. Actually, mouth is just watering because of the smell. It's just lovely. Just imagine. A to ghee, homemade and the smell is around you. How lovely it will be. Can't imagine what I'm saying. But it's just fantastic. So this is you see in the final process. We are removing this is the ghee from the utensils I've emptied in a, in a bottle, and this is the bottom which stayed. Okay, see you're still pouring off in a bottle. It smells lovely. Let's have a look at the bottle. So I made more than uh, three quarter, le less than one liter, but it's worth it. What we've done. It's, it took long, many days to save all this all the cream but it's worth it the taste is just lovely awesome